Coming up in this video, we review the Makita DCW180 cooler and warmer box. Ignoring the instructions and those other reviews out there, should you buy one based on our review? To do that, we need to get scientific with our drinks. What temperature do we start at and what temperature do we like those drinks to be served at? So let's load up the cool box and put it to the test. How quickly will it cool those drinks down? What temperature do we like them served at? Let's adjust it to get there. Perhaps there's an argument about that drink's temperature, but we then wait and wait and wait. But are the results worth waiting for? It's a yes from me as we crack open a can of Urn Brew. It's a review of two halves though as we ramp it up to 60 degrees C and pop down to our favourite Indian takeaway. The owner Mohammed takes a keen interest in this newfangled technology, takes it into the kitchen and comes back with some advice about food serving temperatures. So sit back with a cool drink and a warm takeaway and let's dive in. It's 28 degrees C here at Lineside Studio, so we decided to come out to the patio area. And if you just look out there, Gordon, you can see our recycling facility in clear view. And we're going to take a deep dive into the cool box element of this straight away. So can we get it open? I want yeah, a drink. We can. I'll just stop you there, Gary. Yeah. It's a skip. And 28 degrees C is not something we often mutter those words in England and in Skipton. But you're right. Let's just pile in. Let's have a look at some of the great features of this Makita cool box. Warm box later. Um, well, let's start with the display. I love an LED display. So we've got, uh, you can see the battery levels of the two batteries in there. There's our current temperature. You can raise and lower the temperature with the up and down arrows. Dead easy. So I'm going to set that at zero. We'll come to that later on. This button here selects between the uh, heat and cool modes. And you can, we haven't quite figured out how to do it yet, flip across the Fahrenheit if you're from the 1800s and the old on-off button there. So that's the controls, dead easy to use. Uh, yeah, if I was on site, I'd be making your uh, your cold uh, cold drinks warm, but uh, there we go. So, so we're gonna have a look inside or we're gonna have a look at some more features on the yeah, outside. Well, let's see the strap let's here. Power wire on it's the strap, yeah, so you can have a strap. Now this box weighs in at 13 kilos empty. Now think about that 20 litre capacity, that could be an additional 20 kilos. That suggests you're not going to be using the strap very often and you're not going to be running with it. You're probably going to go for the wheels okay. and the handle that pops up there so you can, uh, you can, you can drag it along. But it's, uh, you're not, still not going to be running fast with uh, 30 kilos uh, dragging along behind you. Power supply options. Uh, the minute we're running off battery, it does come with this lead, so you can power it off an automotive adapter. So I used to call it the cigarette lighter, um, 12 or 24 volts. So big hello to all you truckers out there. There's an option for you, or you can have uh, a mains powered option. So the batteries themselves live in uh, this cabinet under here. Could you run it off one? Uh, it will run off one uh, or two batteries. It works its way through one battery, then moves on to the next one. The ones we've got in there weren't fully charged when we put them in. Um, word on the batteries, it does not come with batteries. So this, this, uh, this device is a significant investment um, but if you're not a Makita LXT battery user... Isn't there a couple of different varieties, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, we'll come on to that again. Some of the uh, issues there, if you're not an LXT battery user, you're going to have to invest in, in some batteries, which can, again, add some money to it. And there is also, we love look. this, uh, a, USB, a USB charger. Yep. It's, it's a, it is the B-type socket. Uh, it would be, uh, would be better if they'd moved that across to the C that we're starting to see on more and more products and possibly boosted that from 2.4 up a little bit higher. So anyway, that's uh, that's the power supply. I guess what everyone's really waiting for. Let's see what's uh, inside. Me personally, I would suggest. Yeah. Well, let's have a look what you've hidden in here, Gary. Ooh, nice. So as we said, 20 litre capacities, or as we would call it, plenty of cans to keep you going through the day and move into the uh, apre site as you go with the, uh, yeah, we've got some uh, chilled beers in there as well. Okay, yeah, barley-based beverage and yeah. some food, I see. All oh, my oh, favorites. Got here. Okay. 
That's uh, Fry's chocolate cream, okay. So 1761, okay, so your birthday. And, and I've also got some soup in here as well, so uh, you can have the chocolate. I'll have this gone out of date soon, so this okay. needs to be uh, eaten today. With your old gnashes, I suppose that's as hard as you can chew on. Uh, and oh dear me, not that's Dr. mine. Pepper. Just pop that on there. Look at that, it's all ready for me. Yeah, well, I'll put uh, I'll raise you 10 with my uh, urn brew. Uh, yeah, never give me Dr. Pepper, it's like gremlins. If you have that. Yeah, um, the majority of that's made up by prunes, so I would suggest that's why you've had a dodgy stomach after you've had that one. Yeah, don't, uh, yeah, don't, don't go there uh, on that. So, um, it does a fantastic job of keeping these cool. What? That would be great then, wouldn't it? Because it is yeah. a cool box. Yeah. There is a seal around here. Should we have a look at the seal? Because that keeps a good IP range, doesn't it? IPX4. So in other words, if you're on site with it, it won't get full of dust, will it? Yeah, but I'd also suggest the seal is actually also to uh, to keep the uh, <laughs> keep the keep the cold in. Uh, and it is only IPX4 when it's running on battery. Right. Because okay. If you plug the adapters in. There's a little hinged flap down the side there. It loses that rating uh, if if, uh, if you don't have that uh, fully engaged. Oh, good spot. Really good. Yeah. So no downsides at the minute. I'll, well, a, a mild downside. I would suggest it's quite heavy, isn't it, to lift? Yeah, it is. And yeah, I mean, if you're if you're lumping twenty kilos of drinks around anywhere, then plus the weight of that, yeah, it is. That, there's no way around that. Uh, but it is robust. That you can sit on top of that if you want to guard your uh, if you want to guard your drinks. Then, I like it. Uh, I like it. Yeah, there you yeah. go. You're set okay. for uh, you're set oh, for life. There you go. Ready for another hard down. See, you've got the Makita fan out. That's blown some <laughs> slightly less warm air at me than uh, the ambient temperature. Not much it though. Is. And we have reviewed that fan. If you haven't seen that review, I will leave a link in the description. Um, which I guess you know, great. You know, it'll keep things cool for a long time. So up to if you have two uh, six ampere hour batteries in right, from okay. the LXT range. Right, okay, yeah. yeah. It'll keep the cool for, it'll keep it at five degrees C for 17 hours, which is nearly as much as our working day. day. I say, I was just about to suggest that's just about going to do us for that working day. Now, we think there's some top tips there. Let's, let's do a top tip on keeping things cool, because that's what it's all about. It took a long while to get it cool. Yeah, that's it, the problem. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so, so you go to Morrison's, you pick yourself up a packet of water, yeah. chuck it in, 10 minutes later, it's going to be cold? No, and, that, and that's, that's the kind of downside this and if you if you look at some of the other reviews out there so it does get down to temperature on yep. that display pretty quickly however that doesn't mean the stuff that you put in there if it's not already the cold temperature uh -huh. will be uh, yeah. at a satisfyingly cold temperature. We were finding a big discrepancy with the temperature it was suggesting it at and the temperature of the stuff in there because obviously the stuff in the middle is going to take a lot longer to get cool isn't it? Yeah and, and that's the thing so uh, what's your top tip? Here? Top tip is to get stuff out the fridge that's already cold and pack it and then turn it on, whether it be on the mains or on the battery, it's brilliant then because it keeps things cool. Yeah. It will get things cool, but it does take a considerable yeah. amount of time. Hours, wasn't it, to get Yeah, to I mean, we were saying to, to get to that satisfying temperature, and, and for me, that is below five degrees C. Yeah, um, yeah you're talking four hours. Ooh. And, and yeah. remember, so that battery life is based on keeping things cool to get the heat out of objects that are the ambient temp, you've got to use a lot of power. So you're not going to get, you know, dump them in sight and, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll probably get there by, you know, eight o'clock in the morning, put your drinks in there. And you might by lunchtime have a cold drink. Right. Somewhere mid afternoon, the battery's probably going to run out. Okay, so if you're going for a long day, ain't you going to make it. But again, top tip there is get things that are cold, put it in there, and it's brilliant for yeah. keeping them cold. Also goes the other way, doesn't it? It does, it's yes. Not, it's not just, a, it just keeps things cool, but we'll just jump in there. You can't do both of these at the same time. We can get it as hot as 60, as cold as minus 18, which is the same as a freezer, isn't it? So it is, yeah. We haven't tried the ice cream setting yet, so uh, mm. see how that goes down on site. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Popping out your chest freezer <laughs> and out come the ice pops. So it can go as high as 60, can't it? Yeah, which is, um, again, and, and you've got to be a little bit cold. You're not so much bothered about cold, but when you start talking about keeping food yeah, warm, warm, yeah, you can get into some troubles and it will keep at 60 degrees C for how many hours is that one? Well, it's a considerable number of hours and that's four hours. Yeah, which again... But that, that 60 worries me though. Yeah, I mean, and, and it was quoted in some of the reviews we've said that 60 is the safe temperature for right. hot, maintaining food at a hot temperature. Okay, yeah. Which it is in America. It is in America and in Australia. In I think. Australia. Yeah. 
It's a tad more over here though, isn't it? In Britain, it's 63. And there's a recommendation that you're above that 63. So maybe we, we spoke to our good friend Hamed down at the uh, Mastavs and he suggested you like a temperature near a 70, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So they were a bit concerned at that. And again, you wouldn't, you know, again, put something in cold at the start of the day and try and warm it up in here. It's not a warming ah. up device. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, it's it, probably... It's not an oven or a microwave. It's no, just no. It, again, so that goes back to what we did with the fridge. You put something that's already warm into it and it maintains that temperature as it does with the cold stuff. Yeah. You don't put something in cold first thing in the morning when you get in a van, your pasty's freezing cold, your ginster's in there. Yeah. Get it out at 12 o'clock, you expect to be piping hot. Yeah. And it's just worrying me a little bit on how long it would take for that. But um, yeah, but bringing our takeaway back from the Indian last night, it did a fantastic job. Yeah, it yeah. did. And uh, maybe there's a, a chance for us to branch out into something we call uh, just warm, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> did when somebody we, say just yeah, warm? Well, I think I did. I think <laughs> I just said it's just warm. So maybe that's a, an option there for, for, you know, we've all had those things delivered to our house. And I would suggest if we use the tag just warm, we'd actually be one ahead of most people that I've had turn up at my front door. Yeah, so that's that. Um, some of the other problems. We've problems, had, or, problems. Well, problems, okay. So... The first big one, and I thought, oh, great, it's, it's in. It's a substantial unit in terms of uh, price. It doesn't charge the batteries. All right, it doesn't come with them, and it doesn't charge them. So even yeah. if I connect it to the mains with the batteries in there, the minute I obviously pull out, I'm not going to be charged those batteries any more than they were before. Yeah. Ooh, sticky. So, yeah, so you're going to still have to have your battery charger somewhere <laughs> because, obviously, if your batteries are used for cooling. You can't use them in your power drill tools. or your yeah. other power tools. Uh, so that's the first problem. So it doesn't charge batteries. It would have been fantastic if it does. Yeah, it would have been. You know, a lot of the Milwaukee products we see now, have a charger built in as well. Milwaukee, what's this Milwaukee product you're talking Milwaukee. about? Milwaukee. Oh, Milwaukee. Yeah. Oh yes, we've done some Milwaukee stuff before, haven't we? Yeah. So that, and then the second one is there's this thing about battery types now. So this is LXT. Yeah. And yet we have a lot of Makita products that are XGT, 40 volts, higher, different battery charger. And they can't cross. They cross can't, pollinate. They can't cross pollinate them. So no. yeah. So that is a. You know, it would have been so easy, wouldn't it, to have that capacity to take both batteries? It's not complex electronics to uh, mess around with voltage. It could have could have been so easy. Yeah, and again, when we're pulling it along, if you think about that, it will also cut itself out for angle, won't it? it? Will. So, it's yeah. got a tilt. Yeah, yeah. Got a tilt on it. I'd suggest you move your can at this. point. Are you going to tilt it? Hang on a second. Just it. leave my cold beverage down there. I'll bring this one in. Yeah. So about I tilt this up. So again, you'll see it gets to a point where it will cut out. Okay, let's have a look. Yep. There we go. Okay. That's the, uh, the tilt setting. Um, so yeah, and that happens if you tilt it sideways or too far up on its end there. I'm devastated your soup wasn't open. <laughs> well, you would have been cleaning it. Um, oh, so this good if this handle locks possibly because it is a little bit, a, just a, yeah, it doesn't quite feel, uh, it's not like trundling your suitcase around an airport as you're doing it. Um, but apart from that, robust unit. And there's one other feature, Gary. Okay, one, one other, other feature, feature we love. Oh, yeah, go on then, bring us one out. It's down on the side here, cheeky little bottle opener. Is that a barley based health drink I see you got there? It is, yes. Just, just check, I'll just... Just check it's all right. For the yes. review. For the cold. Is that cold? We're going to have to have another check. Oh, that is nice. Is it? You mm. sure? Mm. That is satisfyingly cold. I would be very happy at the end of a day to show off in front of people you know they're all been sweating sweating away on the site they haven't got one of these fans and uh, yeah pull out one of them at the end of there fantastic as always we're interested in your feedback have you made the significant investment in order to own a box that will be cold and hot depending on the selection from makita if you have please leave those comments were you thinking about getting one and maybe the price and some of the slight downsides have made you reconsider or if you watch this review and you're going it's a must-have product for me i'm a massive fan of the makita you're eating my chocolate bars i'm a massive fan of the <laughs> i'm a massive fan of the makita products and obviously this is another one I want to add to the suite of products we've got. We've also got the heated vest that we never mentioned in this as well. Not check for this time. Oh, yeah, check out that review. It's perfect. <laughs>